Hello guys, Josh here and welcome to another episode of my Carlisle United career mode. I can't lie, I haven't been reco uh, I haven't recorded it in quite a while. I've basically just been feeding off clips what's been on my PlayStation storage. So now it's like the first time in like a month I've literally been recording, so bear with us boys. Um, but yeah, we are going to continue with the Carlisle career mode last episode. As you know, we made some good signings. This guy was a free transfer. Doesn't look too bad actually. Um, obviously he's shooting, passing, could be better, but it's fine for now. We got Moises Casido. I finally found out how to say his name. It's Casido. I was saying like Saicido or something. Don't even know what I was, I was going about. Don't ask. Did we get married last episode? I think we did. Um, as well as Mengi. So we made a solid four signings, well even though one was a swap deal, but we made four signings, which will make us a lot stronger team. Um, Gvardiol is still trained to become a left back. Saicedo, I'll do it again, Casido, um, is a five rate and downgrade, but this guy, like I've, I've seen his um, potential. He's never... 78 or it was like above 80 i can't remember which one it was because like I've, I've been checking um potentials for every single player on, on my team i can't remember if it was 78 or it was above 80 but it's fine so you know also it's gonna be a skip episode it's gonna be five uh five matches skip actually no no i'll do i'll do a three match skip you know like a normal episode because i don't have a lot of time to be honest with you so let's get to the first game against Donka. And the match begins. And yeah, so the bench. It's quite a weak bench, to be honest. Well read to ease the pressure. Um but obviously the next season well pretty much January we'll try and get some um, ins and outs. Probably won't though, to be honest, I've like, no money. But, you never know. Preston. If not, then I'll see next season, we'll make some more signs, make our starting 11 stronger. Kaysedo. Eventually, just. Well, yes, yeah, so it is Kaysedo. Wait, what? Kaysedo, Kaysedo, whatever, you know what I mean. Here's what it is. Um, but, next season, I said this last uh, season as well. Next season will be big for just building the squad, and then obviously within two seasons this team should be fighting for the Prem. Like already off this season, with the three games that we have played, it's pretty much League Two again. You know, Campbell's been on fire, even in skip games. Well, he's always been on fire with me. You know, when I play with him normally. He's got 85 finishing, and like with his plus 3, he's got a plus 6 onto that. So he's, he's got 91 finishing he's working with right now. So in actual games, he's going to be mad. He's going to be mad. But within two seasons, we should have like a really strong 11. And then, I will not say a really strong bench. I'd say more of a solid bench than really strong. But... I'm looking to move on a few players eventually. Bring some obviously uh, improved players into those positions. Even though like two of them are really expensive, I can't even lie. Really expensive. Like the transfer budget's low, but it's just a wage. So if they're willing to, to take a, um, a wage cut. But quite a lot in add-ons, I'll, I'll do that, but one of them had like, I feel like 85k a week. And he's not really the high of a rage, he's just plays for a really good team. And we're 1-0 down. And off those stats, to be fair, we are, it's fair to say that we're willing to go down. You know, it's, it's, it's only fair, three shots to zero. I say that, but you know. Real danger. Can he get them level? But it can't get through. But the problem with my team 
uh, I was checking before I started the episode, a lot like about 7 out of 11 have like really bad stamina, like below 70. It's only really my wingers, and I'm pretty sure it's Mengi, to be honest. Maybe it's my front three, so my striker and my wingers, and Preston, that's what it was. And then everyone else has like below 70, so... You know, obviously some back up into those positions would be nice. Like right now I'm pretty sure it's Musiala's has like the worst um actual stamina reign. Coming at forty five. I'm pretty sure Bolton is actually better than that. And if, 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 if he just stands in nets, like he doesn't run around that much. So it's like how is your stamina so low, man? But it is what it is in the end of the day. You know, I can't really complain. I, I chose to buy him. It sort of paid off. Because he, he did do quite well last season after we brought him in. But the main reason why I'm trying to sign young, like, up and growing players, so eventually when I buy him for, like, a couple of million, I can sell him. So Campbell is just clutch. He just is clutch. Uh, but back to what I was saying, when I come to sell them, they'll sell for like possibly 10 times the price. So like if I sign Musial for 2 million, I could possibly sell for 20 plus million. You know what I mean? It's kind of like a, a financial opportunity as well, if you know what I mean. Next game is against Gillingham. Gillingham. I don't know how you say that to your name. To be honest with you. But once again, our strongest 11 is out. Um, I'm, tr I'm trying to sign, well, I say sign, try to loan some players in. Um, five minutes in, we've already won up. Campbell again, just, that's two goals in two games so far this episode. Um, anyways, as I was saying, I'm trying to loan some players in, but obviously with the transfer money, which I currently have zero of, actually zero pounds, um, it's, it's hard. It is hard. I can't lie. Everything's fine. Like obviously, like the uh, the transfer, um, like the actual transfer. What's it called? Basically, the price of like obviously, like if I loan to buy next season, like, I'll buy from it, like, let's say three million. Basically, the price to buy a player is fine. It's just the actual wage. <clears throat> I've got a thousand. So I'm trying to sign a player right now, sign a player what's got, I think, I think it's like 3.5k wage. So you can imagine 3.5k is kind of hard to get down to 1k. So basically we have to pay 35% roughly, around 35%. Which, I submit that and they want at least 45 minimum. So it's like 45 was per 55 they pay. But I can't, like, I'm actually like, I think it's like 700 pounds off. So like it, it's hard. Like I, like, I wanna um, sell someone, but my squad's already running thin as it is. You know, I, I pretty much have to rely on bringing through some um, youth players. To be honest. So it's like, and I have to wait for them to set up first, and then before I actually sign them on, which is a rip in the chat. I can't even lie to you. A big rip, um, but obviously. I do have the, I think it's like, is it like the future, the future player, like scout future player, um, still, which is how I, I actually scouted Preston, so if I can maybe pull out a new right back, centre mid, pretty much any position I'll be happy with, as long as it's like the, the decent, you know what I mean, like I wouldn't mind like a keeper, so when Button does end up wanting to move, I can sell him, start bringing that keeper onto big things big things um but again it takes time for the setup so I'll have to wait for that okay it's great to say the ratings like I want to say they're like, actually performing the best um, for us so Marion's playing the worst of the front three um Casido is playing the worst out of the centre mids and 
Bardi always playing the worst out of the defenders. Yeah, I don't really mind because like the defenders have pretty much nothing to do all game. How many um, chances have they had? You know, they've had zero shots, zero chances. So I don't really um, blame them for that low rating. It's gonna be pretty much a midfield and striker domination for much right now. For the ratings, as you can imagine, Campbell goal scorer is a 9.1. Um, I don't know got the assist. It doesn't really tell the assists until. Or pretty much you just have to keep looking at the assist, like the assist um, leaderboard thing. Okay, how's he just lost 0.3, like for a corner? It is what it is, but um, probably next episode I'll go through like the um, the potential on some of the players which I've brought in. Like, it's pretty much a, a whole new team. Other than right back in the centre back, like everyone else is new. One one. Kyle Dempsey. <laughs> Kyle Dempsey. Oh God. Kyle Dempsey. I just pulled out. Two draws in two games. Yeah, I, I was thinking that this could be an easy promotion. I can't lie, it's going to be a challenge. Maybe I should have kept, um, what was his name? I had a guy there before I sold him to get uh, Casido. I should have kept him. The um, He's Australian, New Zealand, something like that. I should have kept him for one more season, then eventually brought um, Casido in. Now a match in the Carabao Cup to end the episode against Coventry. Right. For now, if I, I obviously I don't expect to win at all. Um, but I would like to. I can't lie. I would like to. But again, the league form isn't the best. Two draws. So what's that? Is that 11 points out of 15? I'm pretty sure we won all three last episode. So 11 points out of 15. It's not bad, three fairs. It's not so bad. But we have to pretty much stop these draws and then turn them into at least some wins. I don't mind like, you know, drawing the odd game. Because, again, it's still better than losing, to be honest. There we go. Musiala. Nice. Um, it's, it's better than, you know, it's better than losing anyways, so I don't really mind if we do end up drawn. I just want to win at least, at least 75% of the games. Like, there's 20 th uh, 24 teams, but obviously take two off for us, so it'll be 46 games in this season, as well as like some cup games and stuff, so it's, it's a, bit, a bit mental. It's a bit mental, I can't lie. Um, but if we do you know, smash through these lower teams and then lose against the Prem team. I wouldn't be too angry. I wouldn't be that angry, to be honest. Uh, because, you know, obviously, the more matches you win in the Cup, like, the further you get through, there's pretty much more funds you get for next season. And we need funds. We need funds, big time. To actually build from pretty much scratch. So, like, literally a Champions League win side. It's going to be hard. It's gonna be hard, um, but obviously I'll be keeping tracks, uh, keeping tracks. Is that the word? Keeping tabs on Ronaldo, CR7, because there's there's uh, in Korea more. I didn't know this, but there's such things as resurgence players. I think they're called or something like that. Basically, uh, if Ronaldo, let's say, is playing for Man United when he retires, when he retires, you can actually go look for like a young player that's Portuguese in the Premier League and it'll automatically be like um like a pretty much a player what could be like a really good player in the future. Like a really like it pretty much become the next Ronaldo. Like it'll be it won't be a, one of the world's best if like one like we've wanted like um I'm trying to think where it can be. Like one for the future or something maybe something like that. Um 
you can pretty much do that with any player. So as long as they retire, so let's say Zlatan, if you want a Zlatan, you can get his resurgence player. Ronaldo, Messi, Neymar, Mbappe, everyone who retires, you can get their player. Um, pretty much a new player of, you know, you know what I mean? So Ronaldo in FIFA has roughly two seasons, two, two or three seasons on average. Sometimes it could go for longer, sometimes it could go shorter. I've seen some series where he's going for three to four seasons. I've seen one where he plays two seasons. But so far, two seasons is the minimum. So pretty much next season, get two. Marin, nice. Can't lie against slap possession-wise and shots, you know, but obviously the scoreline just count is what matters the most. Um, so I'm keeping tabs on Ronaldo, Messi, you know, trying to find the next big thing so I can eventually um, okay offside fair enough so I can actually just build a like just a sick team you know what I mean um, I don't think they play the exact same positions though like if Ronaldo's a striker I don't think he's, he's like the reserve player will also guarantee be a striker I'm not too sure it could be like a you know a right back centre back a goalkeeper you know but I'm not too sure. It might be guaranteed the same position. So like if Messi's a right winger, he retires. The resurgence player should be a right winger, theoretically. But after this episode, I'll definitely Google it, or well, YouTube, whatever, same thing, and see what they are. So like, because like I've heard of them um, in a series, but I don't know the exact in and outs of all, everything. So that's what like my thing of it is. Like if a player retires and get them back as a younger player. They won't be called the same with a different name and stuff, but pretty much Ronaldo's potential in a new player. And then you can buy, train him up, get a new Ronaldo pretty much. But a 2 0 win against Coventry, you'll love to see it. So yeah, I'll definitely um, update you next episode about that one, as well as the um, show the potential of, you know, of the team. More the players I've bought, cause like, here than Tanner. No one really cares about and Butland, you know, it's just the players who will be big. Preston, I can't find because he's a youth player, so he won't be actually in the uh, database if, if you know what I mean, like actual real players. But you know, like Vardyol, Mengi, Hayden, uh, Casido, like all the other boys will be have potentials. Preston won't. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy, please do smash the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.